Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to solve this exponential problem and find all the values of x that will satisfy this equation. We have x power 6 equals 3 power 6. So let's have our solution right here. Now, what we can do is we can simply move this 3 power 6 down here. So we are going to have right here, we will have x power 6. Then we have minus 3 power 6. And this equals 0. So this can easily give us, we can have x power 3 or power 2. Remember, if you have a power n or power m equals a power n times m. So we have minus 3 power 3 or power 2 and this equals 0. Right? So from here, we can apply difference of 2 squares because we have 2 here and we have 2 here. Remember, if you have a squared minus b squared, this equals a plus b times a minus b. And in this case, our a equals x power 3 and b equals 3 power 3. So we are going to have for a plus b, we will have x power 3 plus 3 power 3 times for a minus b, we will have x power 3 minus 3 power 3. And this equals 0. So the next thing we are going to do is to expand each of these. And we can actually equate each of these to 0 before we expand. Let's have this. We have x power 3 plus 3 power 3 equals 0. Or we have this one here. x power 3 minus 3 power 3. And this equals 0. So you, now, you can now go ahead and expand each of these to solve for x. Now, in order to expand this, we can apply this identity. Remember, if you have a power 3 plus b power 3, this will simply give us, we are going to have a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. And in this case, our a equals x and b equals what? 3. So we are going to use this in order to expand it. So we are going to have for a plus b, we will have x plus 3 times, this is x squared, minus 3x plus 3 squared, and this equals 0. So this will simply give us x plus 3 times x squared, minus 3x plus 9, and this equals 0. So we can equate each of these to 0. We have x plus 3 equals 0 or x squared minus 3x plus 9 equals 0. So if we solve this, we have x equals negative 3. This becomes one of the solutions. Now we need to solve this quadratic equation to find the other solutions. So we can make use of the formula method. We have x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. And from here, we have a equals the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. b equals the coefficient of x, which is negative 3. And c equals 9, which is the constant here. So we insert everything into this particular formula. And we will have x equals negative b, that is negative times negative 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is negative 3 power 2 minus 4 times 1 times 9. And everything here is divided by 2 times 1, that is 2a. We now have x equals negative times negative 3, that is 3, plus or minus the square root of negative 3 squared, that is 9, minus 4 times 1 times 9, that is 36, divided by 2. So from here, we are going to have x equals 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 36 times negative 27. We have divided by 2. And you can simply have this as 3 plus or minus. We have square root of 27 times square root of negative 1. We are just splitting this because of this negative. That's why we are having negative 1 here. Divided by 2. So from here, we are going to have x equals 3 plus or minus this square root of 27 you can have it as square root of 9 times 3 then we have square root of negative 1 is iota that is i 
and we have everything divided by 2. So from here, you can have x equals 3 plus or minus. We have square root of 9 times square root of 3 times i. And we have everything here divided by 2. So this will give us 3 plus or minus square root of 9 is 3. We have root of 3. Let me bring the iota here. And we have everything divided by 2. So this becomes another solution. These are complex solutions. We have the positive and we have the negative. Now, let's go back to the other equation. Remember, we still have this one here. This is x minus 3, x power 3 minus 3 power 3 equals 0. So for us to solve this, we need to also apply this identity. If you have a power 3 minus b power 3, this will simply give you, you are going to have a minus 3, a minus b times, you have a squared. plus ab plus b squared. So we are going to use this identity in order to expand this. So from here we have, that is our a here equals x and b equals 3. So we will now have x minus 3 times this is x squared plus 3x plus 3 squared and this equals 0. So we will have x minus 3 times this is x squared plus 3x plus 9 and this equals 0. We solve each individually. We have x minus 3 equals 0 or we have x squared plus 3x plus 9 and this equals 0. So if we solve this, we are going to have x equals 3. This becomes another real solution. Now let's solve this in order to find the complex solutions. So we will use the formula method again. We have x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. And from here we have a equals the coefficient of x squared which is 1, b equals the coefficient of x which is 3 and c equals 9. So we insert everything into this formula. We have x equals negative times 3 plus or minus square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 9. And everything here is divided by 2 times 1. So from here we are going to have x equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 3 squared is 9 minus 4 times 1 times that is 36 divided by 2. So from here we will have x equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of negative 27 divided by 2. So we do the same thing. We have x equals negative 3 plus or minus. We have square root of 27 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2. So from here we have x equals negative 3 plus or minus. Square root of 27, you can have it as square root of 9 times 3 times square root of negative i, that is square root of negative 1 is iota. And we have everything divided by 2. So from here we have x equals negative 3 plus or minus. Square root of 9 is 3. We have root of 3 times i divided by 2. So you can simply have x equals negative 3 plus or minus i times 3 root of 3 divided by 2. So this becomes another set of solutions. So how many solutions are we having? We are having six different solutions. We have, let's start x1 equals, let's start with 6. No, not 6. I mean, I think that is 3. We have x2 equals negative 3. Now let's consider the complex solutions. We have x3 equals this one here, 3 plus i3 root of 3 divided by 2. So we have x4 equals 3 minus
i3 root of 3 divided by 2. Then we have x5 equals, let's consider this one here. That is negative 3 plus i3 root of 3 divided by 2. And finally, we have x6. And x6 equals negative 3 minus i3 root of 3 divided by 2. So these are all the solutions, 6 solutions, because we have x power 6 as the equation. That's why we are having 6 solutions. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.